Alrighty. So this is from the patio. She do have like this cute private front porch patio, which is nice. The stairs are very easy, not steep. And this is a very secluded, private neighborhood. If somebody's coming back here, they are back here for a reason. There is the pool. And these in front of you are all single family homes. You are relatively, I shouldn't say close to the street. You have all these houses in front of you. But this neighborhood is quiet. Super quiet. Now we'll come in here. It's kind of chilly outside today. So we'll close that. It does kind of have like a perfumey smell to it. But real hardwood is what it looks like. Here. Do have it's like the sponged popcorn, not real popcorn, sponged popcorn. Could use a new vent cover. We'll do an overview and then we'll go into everything. So pretty much everything you see here is what comes with it. We'll just get right into it. So this is your kitchen. I've not turned any lights on at all and it is bright. Every single kitchen has one of these. It's like their little like arboretum nook thing. It's so cute. And then you have granite with a granite backsplash, which is very nice. Nice appliances. All those are matching and then you have a black dishwasher dishwasher which it kind of matches and then nice cabinets soft clothes very detailed soft clothes i like the handles very cute that's a tight squeeze right there but tons of room in here for a decent amount of stuff that's in here. And you have your little nook for your dining room. Then a very good size living room where you could, you could definitely put your TV there or you could put it above the fireplace wherever you really wanted. And then you have a nice bar over there. This bar is so cute. The water's not on, they turned it off. Looks good under there. I think these are either marble or granite top. Very beautiful. Beautiful fireplace. They said that's wood burning. They have not used it, so they're not sure if it works. Should definitely be cleaned. This is a very nice area. You can use this as like a another bedroom if you wanted to have this off of your bedroom. Or you can use it as an office, whatever you wanted. Tons of light in here. Windows are a little bit foggy, but... I did want to point this out before I walked into the next room. I don't know if that's prior or what, but the HOA should cover the roof. There's a spot over here too. 
I should cover that. If it's leaking. And then any damage into your unit. That's from something hanging up there. This is a very nice room. And then this would be considered your master. Which this bed is freaking huge. This is a... I'd say this is a king. It's definitely a king. And you have two nightstands. Those doors are open, obviously. And then you have the armoire. There's probably a TV in there. Let's see. No, but it's made for a TV. Very good size room. And then a huge closet. This is gigantic and attic space. Just in case. <laughs> this could use some repainting, but it's not bad at all. It does look like that should not be upwards. It should be down. But at least I have a pan underneath it. And they don't have the carpet under there anymore. So this carpet is weird. Like it's a little bit off because they took the carpet out from under there. But it is newer, it looks like. I can't find the date. That's okay. And then this would be your master bath. You can turn that off and show you the spots. You do have some spots up there as well. Very neutral color scheme. It's very nice. That's the front door straight ahead. So you walk right into the master bedroom when you walk in. Good set of washer and dryer. Some nice cabinets. Good size linen closet. They did choose some really great colors for this place and it all flows together very well. This is a huge coat closet or another just storage closet if you want it to be. And then we'll come this way and go into your second bedroom. And this has a ton of natural light. Everywhere in this place has a ton of natural light. You have built-ins on either side. This is beautiful. This, I would say it's just a full-size bed. It smells like, like cedar. Somebody made those by hand. Makes me have to sneeze. There's some like very minor stuff at the bottom. Like somebody put in those baseboards by hand and they didn't have enough to go all the way across. So 
so they just get cut up a little bit. And then this is the same. And then you have two closets across from one another. Just packed with a bunch of stuff. Same on this side. Just your normal size closets. And then this is your spare bathroom. This is the only countertop that is for mica and not granite. And then your only vanity that is not matching the others where it's full brown. You do have a couple more spots on the ceiling. Overall, it's it matches. Everything matches very well. Just those couple of spots on the ceiling throughout the place, which is very odd for a condo. But overall, it is a very, very nice place. I don't know what is going on around the outside of that. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure what's happening there. But when you pull out of here, this community, once you're in this community, there's only one way in, one way out. And it has to be on Robert Grissom. Um, you have to take a car everywhere. You can't take a golf cart or anything. And that's pretty much it. You're very close to every single thing you want to do. You know where you are. Once you get to Broadway Station, you know where you are. Um, you're right around the corner. So yeah. Let me know if you do have any questions at all. We'll walk back through again.